So a small part, little resin infusion job here. Got my reinforcement and my core. It's a foam core and just standard uh, glass uh, reinforcement, chopped strands and woven rovings. Got four plies down, foam core, and then four plies over. I've also then got a layer of peel ply, some uh, infusion mesh, just to help the, the flow of the resin a little bit. Um, now my mould really is a little bit small. And as you can see these ends, well, I've come up with the flange, and I'm right at the edge of my bag tape there, which isn't really good practice. But for this particular part, it's something I can get away with. So this is my in-feed. Got my little pot sorted out here, screwed to the bench. Um, got a clamp on there at the moment. Um, doing a vac test, I'll show you that in, in a mo. Uh, so resin's going to go in there, and then it's going to flow through here. It's going to flow through this way, through the part, uh, to here. Now, also, not particularly good practice either, is my extraction if you like my vac side is almost at the very end of where I want the whole infusion to finish really it should be way up here or some distance with some uh, pill ply as a sort of break um, so you can finish the infusion process without actually sucking up all the resin but needs must in this bit really I'm just uh, I'm just making do with what I've got so but it's not going to affect my part because most of that is going to get trimmed off at a later date anyway when the part's finished. Oh, there we go. Now I've had this uh, doing this vac test, as you call it, like that drop test for about a quarter of an hour now, so I'm pretty happy this whole setup has worked. The previous one I did in a bag simply because my, uh, my vac bag comes as a tube and I thought it was easier just to put it in the bag sealed at both sides of the tube effectively. So that, that worked fine, um, so, but I thought I'd try doing it this way, you know, doing it in a more sort of conventional sense with the bag tape down onto the mould, um, re really to see if, because I've just got sealed MDF here as a baseboard, um, to see whether that's going to work for the later, larger infusion I need to do. Um, and it seems to be working very well at the moment. So that's good.